Welcome to Linkronicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacey Kumagari, Linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. We're back, lovely souls. We're back with our Inner Healing Series 2.0, Part 4. So, the series continues. I kind of think, I've, I've got this gut feeling that this is the last one to wrap up the series, but we'll see. <laughs> We've been surprised before. But... The collective energy was pushing on this forceful, proactive momentum, which is what August 2022 is really all about. And so I was called upon to do the fourth installment of the Inner Healing Series 2.0. And today we're going to be covering three new specific things that are linked to parts one, two, and three. So for those of you who missed parts one, two, and three, I will put the links in the description box below so you can catch up, but I'm going to quickly recap this for you so you can get caught up um, as to how this literally all links together. So in the Inner Healing Series 2.0, part one, we were actually looking at happiness, soul growth, and gratitude, next level 2.0. That was our foundation in what we covered for part one. We had to have this new springboard that we would leap from as we're taking on our next chapter, our new adventure and all of that. And then in part two of Inner Healing Series 2.0, we discovered that we needed to really readdress worry as it kind of like was re-examined under the lens of fear because you know that worry doesn't change the outcome of anything, right? So we had to really dig deep to actually understand the context of why worry shows up after what we've been through in these last two years. And so the worry was then going to be connecting to our adversity and our challenges that we overcame during the pandemic, things that we had to face because we were being reflective and we were doing some personal inventory and we were taking a look deeper and how that actually is forcing us to look at the compassion and empathy, empathy that we have for ourselves. So that was part two. So part one, happiness, soul growth, gratitude, part two, worry, adversity, and having the compassion and empathy. And part three, which was the last video, we talked really about indecision and utilizing our intuition to overcome the indecision place you know, the two swords crossing, uh, feeling at a crossroads because of this heavy energy we're feeling. We may feel stalled on purpose because we're actually being pushed to be reflective and trying to figure out how to link to our intuition, which is actually our best guidance system, our best GPS system, right? As to where we're gonna go, how we're gonna craft our new future and how that was going to actually lead to our perseverance and pushing through anyway, pushing through whatever the indecision was, making the commitment of the decision and pushing through with that perseverance and how that actually works linked hand in hand with the amicable friendship relationship that we have with these energies. That was part three. So you're probably wondering, well, what the heck is part four? What is part four going to do to link to all of those different levels of energy. Well, part four, lovely souls, as I prayed and like looked up into the heavens and asked in meditation what it was really all about, it's redefining balance 2.0, dealing with forgiveness because that's causing the blockages and then how that affects our health. And when we we're talking about our health, we're talking about our health mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, the four pillars, right? Mind, body, soul, spirit, health, well-being. So ironically, that kind of aligns with part four because it's the four things that really are all about upgrading those pillars I was talking about. I think in video two or three, we're doing an upgrade on the four pillars of mind, body, soul, spirit, health, well-being. Well, this connects to that now. So what are we looking at? What are we actually linking to in this? Now, you're not gonna need a pad of paper for this one, no note-taking unless you want to, 
If you want to pause the video and go grab your notepad to take your own notes, that's another thing. But we're not going to be doing any journal prompts with this. This is more about reflection. So it's about active listening skills. Active listening to what you're hearing and asking yourself, what is resonating in your heart? What is resonating in your mind? What's resonating in your soul? What is resonating with you as you listen to this in where you can personally apply it to your journey with the work that you still need to do right now? This is a very powerful month, a very powerful time. We're looking at you know, the power of the eighth month, which is the infinity sign. We're looking at really coming into taking charge of some of the work that we still need to do as we clean up the end of 2022. Otherwise, when we jump into 2023 and we're still bringing all of that remnant energy with us, it's not going to be serving us well because that's all of the life lessons that we were supposed to be learning this year. Right? Every year we keep ascending, every year we keep growing, every year we keep learning and acquiring more knowledge and wisdom, which we keep applying to our path and our journey. So as we look at balance now, balance of the mind, body, soul, spirit, health, well-being, and we're looking at 2.0 with the inner healing, the bigger question for you now that you just need to think about, don't even need to write it down, just need to think about, where are you still lacking balance in your life? Now that it may seem like a really easy question for you to answer, you know, work-life balance. But balance isn't just about work-life balance. Balance is also talking about emotionally how you're balanced. You know, how much work have you done through that to maintain your foundation number one and video one happy space? Where are you finding balance? This is going to go back to all three videos now. Where are you finding balance in your soul growth? Where are you finding balance in your gratitude for the big things and the little things? Where are you finding balance in combating your own worry and fear? Where are you finding balance in dealing with the adversity and the challenges that you face? To understand that the adversity and the challenges that you face were actually life lessons. You called them in to learn, right? So where are you finding balance in your wisdom, your knowledge? How are you now balancing that within yourself to know what you can take with you forward to craft your new future and what you actually apply to, to past lessons that you've overcome now where you don't really need to keep dwelling in that space, that energy. That's balance too, lovely souls. Balancing that energy is important because if we stay stuck in reflective mode all the time in the past, we can't really embrace the present energy that's around us and we miss a lot of things that are being shown to us on a daily basis because we're spending too much time in the analysis paralysis mode, overthinking instead of feeling, right? So let's be looking at the balance of that. We're also be going to be looking at the, the balance of empathy and compassion how you apply empathy and compassion and finding the balance as to where you apply it. How much do you dive into your feelings? But more importantly, here's where the balance is. How much do you dive into being in another person's shoes? Finding that um, deeper level of understanding someone's journey. Why is that important? That's important because that improves our relating. If we don't have the capacity to do that because we're out of balance somewhere in our life, we're also missing out on a very important piece of living, which is the connective relatable issues. You know, not just hot topics on the news. We're talking about um, the process of living, the journey, going through some of the experiences. Everyone's been going through something. And in these past two years, lovely souls, everybody has been going through something. So if we're so stuck in our own bubbles, we're not understanding that someone else is going through something equal to or possibly worse 
that we're not we're missing the point of having that empathy and compassion expand in its in its own world of, of, of your own development of your expanded consciousness. So that's what we're also talking about with balance. We're also looking at balance into a, a place of in, in the indecision intuition space, right? Indecision intuition. They're friends actually, because sometimes we're forced in a place of indecision so we can use our intuition and that's a balance. And it, it may be a balance for purpose because if we rush into things and we don't think and we're blindly making decisions which potentially could have a ripple effect, consequences, uh, put ourselves or someone else in harm's way, uh, we have to look at that unique balance. You know, you can't be impulsive all the time. You can't be spontaneous all the time. And you can't also just sit forever trying to make a decision either. It's you have to have that equality in the balance of that energy in order to move you forward, onward, upward, and in a direction where you can actually use the energy to create more harmony in your world. That's where that balance comes in. And looking at balance in terms of our perseverance. Now here's the other catch, lovely souls. Perseverance and initiative and drive is great. But if we're always doing all of the driving, we're off where you often miss being the passenger. Why is this important? Why is this this important? This is also important because we also have to learn the great art of patience with ourselves, with divine timing, with um, the bigger master plan of things, uh, also waiting for others to catch up, right? So balance has to be in that place too, because you can't be go, 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 persevere all the time either. You have to also pull back and examine things, observe, learn, you know, ask questions. You know, you can't keep ascending and growing if you're not paying attention. If you've got blinders on, you keep going, you're going to miss a lot of stuff too. So it's really, really important to understand that and then understand the, the friendship, amicable relationship that you have with being friends with the other components in your life and to how that can actually bring you to an elevated space of learning. So that's how balance actually brings you into greater balance and how balance actually puts you into a place of um, a proactive mode of understanding how balance can work for you and also being very very aware balance can lack of balance can work against you if you're not in flow right if you're not paying attention to um the present energy and that's really key and that's kind of like why i haven't made promises to you about how long the series will go because I am walking the talk of being a present energy. When I get the download, I record. If I'm not getting any messages or insights, you know, I'm just supposed to chill and wait for the messages to evolve because things are happening. Planets are moving, energy's changing, humans are doing, humans are being. Things are, things are changing energetically in the field. And when they change energetically in the field, we have to be conscious and aware that this energy can affect us, whether we are in or out of balance. And if we're not cognitive of that, you know, that could affect us in a lot of different ways for, from our actions to our reactions. Because sometimes the energy is actually still for a reason, so we can sit still and contemplate and reflect and evaluate and take stock of things and make the necessary changes we need to make to stay in balance. So that's number one. I know the long winded number one, but I wanted to show you how it links to all three of the other previous videos. That's number one balance. We just went over that. Now, forgiveness, big, big thing. Forgiveness is not just in 
the 3D earthly context. Forgiveness is in the 4D and the 5D as well. What do I mean by that? Forgiveness links to all of the other three videos as in forgiving a situation where maybe you were impatient with timing or something or um, decided that you were going to control a situation. Uh, also forgiveness to other people, everyone, both sides of it. Okay. And then also to yourself. When we forgive ourselves, we're in a much, much better space to let go. When we forgive other people, we free them and we free ourselves also untethering us to let go. That forgiveness energy also will connect to the past three videos. So bear with me. Forgiveness links to video number one in happiness, soul growth, and gratitude because forgiving other people, situations, timing, energy in the universe, and ourselves actually promotes a greater foundation of happiness. Forgiveness also helps our soul growth accelerate, expand, elevate, ascend. Forgiveness works there. And then when we've done all of that forgiveness, our gratitude 2.0 expands, 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 and compounds and magnifies and amplifies even bigger because we don't have the resentment anymore because we've forgiven, which then frees us again. And then that allows more gratitude to breed more uh, of being thankful and appreciation for learning and growing and understanding and um, perhaps even improving upon communication skills. Looking at forgiveness also connects with worry. We forgive ourselves for worrying. We forgive ourselves for having fear. It also connects to adversity because anything that we looked at as a challenge or um, adversity thing we had to face, and we look at the forgiveness for that because it actually taught us something. So then we can be grateful for it. See how that works? Okay, and then forgiveness also can connect with empathy. Because the more compassion and empathy we have, we can forgive more. And when we forgive more, then it expands those other two videos even further. And forgiveness then connects to the last video that we just did, which is connecting to indecision. Because we can forgive ourselves for being indecisive and forgiving ourselves for not using our intuition and finding the balance back in that. So now forgiveness connects to balance. That links to this video. So that's item number two. Forgiveness also links to the friendship and the amicable relationship that we have with all of these other emotions and thoughts and energy. <laughs> so that connects. So balance, forgiveness, third thing, third and final thing is our health. Again, mind, body, soul, spirit, health, well-being. So having the balance and having the forgiveness actually connects to our mental emotional physical and spiritual health so when we go back to video number one lovely souls and i asked you how do you do redefine happiness after the last two years of the pandemic mentally emotionally spiritually and physically Ta -da! <laughs> we understand mental emotional physical and spiritual health now full circle this whole thing now videos video number four part four links to all three videos full circle 360 degrees and it links together in the circle chain of life of our journey of our wisdom of our knowledge of our growing of our ascension of our transition of our change of our communication styles how we relate how we relate to other people how we relate to ourselves how we understand our soul how we understand our happiness how we understand our gratitude on a grander scale how we understand how forgiveness and fear and having those things can actually connect to the empathy and the compassion and uh, our, our need to control with the perseverance and letting go and then also dealing with the ultimate balance on the four pillars and then dealing with the forgiveness for all of the things that were actually old resentment blocks that stood in our way 
of moving forward. Because then, what does this connect to ultimately, lovely souls? Love. Love. Universal love. Bigger than us. Peace. Bigger than us. Right? And when we have all of these things in this full-blown understanding, we now embrace the idea that everything can go another level deeper. And the Inner Healing Series 2.0 is really all about our 2.0 3D Earthly human plane awareness, our 40 in the in-between where we sometimes get stuck and contemplate. Okay, now that's a clean slate because of these last three videos. And now this fourth one, connecting it all. And now we're connecting to the 5D realm, which is on the other side, which is all about our soul's knowing, our soul's guidance, our soul's uh, intuitive factors, understanding that um, everything is for purpose, everything is for reason, everything is for something bigger than ourselves. We're here to be of service. We're here to connect. We're here to leave the world a better place. We're here to um, actually learn and grow and expand and share that with other people and how that literally links everything that we've learned in the past three videos with this one. It finally puts the beautiful bow on it in peace and love and harmony and positive energy. 2.0. So there is more of a unification now with the heart and the mind of those chakras. And there is a unification now with the earth star chakra and the soul star chakra. And now we can look at all of the chakras in full mind, body, soul, spirit alignment with our head and our heart together on the new elevated, accelerated level of expanded consciousness. So I'm going to close this video out with a visualization meditation. So close your eyes, rub your hands together, feel some energy happening between your palms. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out and visualize the power of the sun the power of the moon, the brilliance of the stars, and your feet firmly grounded on the earthly plane in reaching up, 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 up as you expand, reaching up for the energy, and grabbing it and pulling it down within your soul, bringing it into alignment with your mind and your heart, and feeling the renewal of this energy and looking deeply within your own soul's knowing as you take that deep breath in deep breath out cleansing of the space cleansing of this moment in time with your new amplified consciousness awareness as it relates to happiness Soul growth and gratitude and worry, releasing fear, overcoming challenges and adversity, and having empathy and compassion on the deepest, highest, most expanded level for yourself and all of humanity, and looking at your crossroads of indecision to help you tap back into your intuition and have you deal with the perseverance and also letting go and letting be and also your amicable relationship, your friendship, and being friends with this energy, regardless of where you are at any time, and ultimately finding the balance, mind, body, soul, spirit, health, well-being, the forgiveness to yourself and everyone else, to breed love and peace, and removing resentment in all roadblocks to clear your pathway, and ultimately having the mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health, a new, graduated, elevated, next level pillars of support as you go into your next chapter, your next new adventure 
in our 2.0 inner healing wisdom, gratitude, and grace. So I hope that helps lovely souls. I hope this wraps up this four-part inner healing series 2.0. And if you need to rewatch any of these videos, I've put the links below so you can catch up or reevaluate all of them. Go back to your journal prompts and see how it's helped you. Reconnect with your chakras and your energy. Balance that out. Mind, body, soul, spirit, health, well-being. And look at how this can take you to where you want to go next. I'm sending you so much love and light. I'm Stacy Kumagai, your Linkologist, here to help you link your life. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Linkronicity, Blogspot.com. And if you want a private coaching session to take this Inner Healing Series 2.0 even further beyond the beyond for your own personal life journey, go to linkernicity.com. I do 30 minute free evaluations and then we can assess where you are and where your goals are short term and long term. And then look at your communication and how you want to improve upon that with how you're connecting to all of these energies for where you're planning on going next for your own very special, unique journey. And we will book a session there. I'm sending you love and light, lovely souls. I hope that you are gentle with yourself and gentle with each other and gentle with all the energy that you bring into your life and experience firsthand as you expand your higher consciousness awareness so we can help the collective together. Have a beautiful blessed day and know that I'm sending you so much gratitude from my heart and hope that you find peace and harmony each and every day. Blessings to you. Namaste.